Hey guys, uh, this is James, and this is the uh, bolt build of the Schnook by Glenel. Um, haven't gotten a video out there in a few weeks, and I just wanted to give a real quick one about the transom. Uh, this is the first piece that I built. It's all built out of Douglas fir. And uh, these members here are like one by uh, fours and one by threes. These are stacked together with the notches that will accept the uh, chine logs and uh, keelson. Uh, this is set up for a 25 inch shaft motor. I'll be putting a 200 horse motor. It's basically a 550 pound motor. They'll be hanging off the back of this. Uh, what you're looking at is the inside of the boat and uh, looking aft, of course. And um, I just needed to get uh, a quick video of what this looks like. I wanted to show representative on uh, the lofting lines that they uh, give in the plans. The uh, black dashed line is the uh, transom line. And uh, here you have the uh, outer chine. And this will be the outer chine notch and the inner chine. This will be made up of three particular pieces. You can see in this representation here of uh, how those uh, those boards will make. And they, they make it in three different pieces because it, it has um, you know a lot of bending to do. It'd be hard to do if it was one continuous piece. And uh, oh yeah, that's a, oh shit, right there. Which that's the beauty of woodworking. You know, you, you make a mistake and I did make it too far over, and I, I realized it, and I filled it in and epoxied. And uh, when it's painted, you'll never even know it happened. And structurally, it'll certainly not hurt the boat whatsoever. So um, we we got a lot to do. We got uh, up to uh, five, six. No, we're up to number five on the um, on the uh, boat frames, and I'm chugging along, and I'm not in no hurry to do this, but. You know, I am uh, I am getting some progress done. Um, again, to uh, put a uh, quick video out there uh, showing the progress of uh, the uh, frame members. Um, the build will go in the backyard here. Um, I built three boats in my garage, and this boat will fit. You know, but the thing that really gets the most is that... Um, the dust, uh, when you do uh, all this fairing and sanding and uh, fiberglassing, oof, makes a hell of a mess. And I, I just don't want to clean it up. It's going to be a lot nicer to be outside. Uh, the wood will be covered in epoxy. Uh, they'll be doing that to all the frame members uh, pre-going outside to sit outside in the elements. Uh, I wanted to show you all. Uh, I have not attached the um, plywood to the transom yet. Because that transom alone is pretty darn heavy. And um, I don't need to make it even heavier by putting that on. So when I have the strong back built, I'll, um, I'll end up uh, just um, attaching it then. I'll have the, uh, the transom frame in place. And uh, where it's going to be, uh, I know where it's going to be mounted. I'll dismount it. I'll mount it on this uh uh, building board and um, It'll be easy to glue up and then put the whole thing one time one shot back on the um, uh, The strong back so that's the progress and this is the Glen L and this is the schnook We'll see you next time